outside of Jacksonville that the players are clapping back at fans. Leonard Fournette threatened to whip a fan's ass during the Jags' 30-9 loss in Tennessee, claiming the fan was shouting racial slurs at him. Marty, how ugly does it get for players on the sidelines in, uh, in opposing stadiums? Uh, I, man, I don't know. Like, I, I just, only thing I know is that when you losing, everything bothers you. <laughs> when you winning at life, like, so, like me right now, in life I'm winning, right? I'm winning at life. I got TV show, podcast. I get to pick my daughter for school. I eat cake for breakfast. I'm winning. Nothing bothers me, right? Nothing's bothering me at all. You can say anything you want to say. Boo, right you're now. a bum, Marty. <laughs> That's you what people suck, say. Like, Marty. So when you losing, you and have you to down? eat breakfast food for breakfast. Everything bothers you when you're losing. And right now, and those guys' temperatures are boiling over because when you're losing, no boy likes a loser. And when you, and if you're not a loser at heart, like that shit start, everything bothers you. Cause you know, but. It's like getting heckled in the comedy club. I mean, the boys. You know about that, right? Actually, no, because like I, I perform so well that like the crowd loves me immediately. But there are other comedians who definitely you do. You see it amongst I your peers. Yeah, the, right. But I too am winning. And yeah. so I don't hear any of it. Totally. That was real deep. The I'm going to take that. The one thing I noticed, though, the worst thing I ever experienced, though, were someone throwing double-A batteries at us. And that was at Texas Tech, motherfuckers, Red Raiders. Damn. I just can't. Like, it's just one of the worst places they to play. Batteries? So did but you the almost, end, like, come up, like, almost go in the stands? Or have you ever, like, no, out back? No, I just my helmet. Oh, I cuss people out all the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I work on this show. Me I see that you, every day. You, <laughs> it's called the production meeting <laughs> at most But football. I don't see why there's an issue him telling somebody to go whoop their ass. Like, people on internet tweet me, they go kick my ass all the time, or fans say I'm gonna whoop your ass all the time. For him to go back, be like, nah, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Now it's an issue? Nah, don't fing say shit if you don't want nobody to say shit back to you. stuff, too. Like, yeah, there's a Hall of Fame racist. heckler over here. <laughs> I love to get into it with players, but you gotta keep it PG and you gotta make them laugh at the If it's stuff. funny, yeah. If it's funny, someone said, I like it when someone talks to me and they say some funny I'm like, oh, you got that it. was clever. That was good. You know what I'm saying? But when it's just like people just try to be demeaning and derogatory statements and things like that, you be like, nah, motherfucker, because if because uh, in the real street, they feel like they're protected by the idea of being a fan. Mm -hmm. But if we're actually in the real streets, like yeah. walking down so the street. He's not yelling at Leonard. He's not yelling at Not at all. Down.